Hi guys, Mr. Ruffwaffles here. The title of this video is going to be something like Zetsubo no Shima is not set in feudal Japan. The reason for that is that Zetsubo no Shima indeed is not set in feudal Japan, but it's being reported in some places that it is, which is pretty crappy of the people reporting it that way. So let me explain exactly why I'm making this video and what all the fuss is about. I've seen a couple of people mentioning on Twitter and uh, in various YouTube comments on other people's videos and one or two I believe on mine as well, that this map is going to be set in feudal Japan. Now that completely contradicts completely a video I've already made stating that the map is set during World War II. It's a World War II era Pacific Island. That is the programming that we have received, that is the wording which we have been blessed with from Activision, or so I believe it is at least. Something along those lines. I might not be quoting it verbatim, but it's roughly that. Now, people saying that the map is actually set in feudal Japan makes no sense to me, because during World War II, Japan was not feudal. Feudal Japan came to an end in something like 18... something or other? In the 1800s at least, I believe. 19th century. It's not something that was around during World War II. During World War II, the Emperor of Japan was the person that had his finger in the pies. He was the one that would have been in control. In feudal Japan, the Emperor was sort of swept to the side somewhat, and it was the shoguns and the shogunates that would have had actual control due to their military power in the country. That's the way it worked. They were split up into various different regions, and these military sort of barons, I suppose you could say, these shoguns, had control over their own constituencies, and that's kind of the way things work. That was feudal Japan. So I had a little dig and I tracked down where this rumor came from and it appears to be a website called Gotta Be Mobile and they look like a reasonable, reputable website, that sort of thing. And they state on there, Treyarch announced the Zombies Black Ops 3 DLC contains four episodes that span the full Call of Duty Black Ops 3 season pass and Zetsubo no Shima is the latest. That's fine, nothing wrong with that, that's correct. There are going to be a couple of episodes of DLC, they'll span the season pass, and this is the most recent map that we're going to be seeing. But then they say, a familiar cast starts on a boat on the way to an island in feudal Japan, and that is where things get crazy. Well, yes, it is where things get crazy, because it's where things get so crazy that they are demonstrably wrong. Namely, this website is talking out of its butt. So hopefully I can clear up the rumor right now that the map is set in feudal Japan because there were some people that were clearly a little bit muddled by this seeing as I'm saying one thing, Activision's saying one thing, and this website is saying another. Really rather confusing stuff, but hopefully I can make it nice and clear. Zetsubo no Shima is not, as far as I'm aware at least, set in feudal Japan, which would mean that it would be not set during the year 1300, 1400, 1500, 1600, around then. Instead, it is just going to be set during World War II. The characters on the boat, for example, those characters, the uh, Division 9 sort of sergeants and uh, military people, those folks are very much garbed in World War II era Japanese sort of clothing and uniform. So that's another hint that it's going to be set during World War II. There really shouldn't be something that we would need to debate. But clearly, it is, because I'm having to make this video to clarify to people, just to make sure that no one is muddled and no one is confused. Now, one thing I did want to say, just so that this isn't a very, very quick and sort of almost pointless video, apart from for the people that actually need it for the clarification, I wanted to suggest the idea that there is a chance, at some point, we will go back to the past, in zombies. And the reason for that is that if we look at the maps we have currently spanning all the games from World at War all the way through to Black Ops 3 with Zetsubo no Shima, we don't really have any maps that are set in eras like the 1200s, 1300s, around then. That just hasn't happened. And it's something that I feel like could be really played with to great effect if Treyarch wanted to. It's the sort of thing where Treyarch are the sort of company who will sit down and say, what have we not done before? How can we now do that and do it really damn well? They've gone through to the future with Black Ops 3. They've messed with our minds in the campaign. They've brought in all sorts of crazy stuff with Lovecraft in the zombies. They've gone to great lengths to make things absolutely bonkers across the board. 
the movement system alone is pretty damn revolutionary, even though we did have thrusting and stuff in Advanced Warfare, of course, this particular iteration of it is a real change from what we're used to in Call of Duty. And perhaps they'll be inspired by that feeling that the company sort of holds across the board and go, you know what, guys? We haven't gone to the sort of deep past before. We haven't done that. Maybe we should visit the Egyptians in Egyptian times. Maybe we should go check out some Viking something or other with a load of Vikings there. Do you get my point? There's so much history they could play with if they wanted to. Time travel is a thing in zombies, so they have the potential to go back to these long-lost forgotten eras and things like that. Atlantis is another one, which could so easily be played with and could be really interesting. There would be something that they would need to do some thinking about if they were to implement it well, simply because right now, it wouldn't really necessarily flow too well with our current story. It seems like Black Ops 3 is very much set on the trajectory of World War 2, World War 2, and then probably World War 2 for DLC 3 again, because Volgograd or Stalingrad is most likely going to be World War 2, and then DLC 4, well, we don't know at that point, but at a guess, World War 2? Maybe? So, it looks like that is certainly the era that they are targeting. I'm not expecting them to go back to the year 1200 anytime soon, and as such, it might feel like a bit of a weird jump if that's what they did decide was actually going to happen. So, let me know in the comments, guys. Do you think that an old-style map visiting the Egyptians in their pyramids as they're being built, something like that, some old-style map set in history, do you think that would be fun? Or would it just be too much of a departure from what we're used to and just really damn weird? Let me know in the comment section down below. And final closing thought, Zetsubo no Shima, unfortunately, in my opinion, it would be really cool if it was, but Zetsubo no Shima is not set in feudal Japan. Hopefully that's been useful. Hopefully it's cleared up any confusion that there was. Fingers crossed you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.